Hi, this is Michael Adams for CEO Roaster and um, yeah, I was lucky to bump into Catalan uh, because Kalak does not have a booth at the PDEC 2017 where I am right now, um, but there was some really exciting developments um, in the last days and so I would like to get some more detailed information from Catalan directly. So thanks for taking the time to talk yeah. to me, and I'm lucky that I bumped into you at the at the, at the floor. Um, yeah, because you um, just recently for Canuck you had some some exciting news. Yeah, tell us about what what you just announced. Yeah, it's very exciting and nice to see you, Michael. Here, look, Canuck announced a few days ago that we are buying 12 projects in Nevada, 12 gold projects in Nevada for two million dollars, and one project that has about a million ounce resource gold resource, and this is a fantastic deal. People cannot believe how good this deal uh, was deal is and you can actually see it reflected in our last uh, few days trading people are starting to pay attention people are starting to accumulate the stock so what are we buying here it's a uh, it's a uh, basically a portfolio of 12 uh, unique assets in Nevada uh, the biggest project of all of them has seen more than 600 holes and a lot of m millions of dollars invested into it the reason why we're getting it so cheap is that the projects have been privately owned and still are privately owned and the principals of the company passed away last year and the, the, in, the people that inherited now the company you know it's basically state that they want cash right they just don't um, want to be involved in mining so all they are worried about is to get some cash for their inheritance so we are fortunate enough to be there at the right time uh, this project was actually under an option from another uh, company a small New Zealand company uh, which could not raise two million dollars and the reason why they could not raise the money is they were literally a shell company out of okay. New Zealand so and they had the project tied up basically in the, into a contract for about close to a year so as soon as that uh, option ran out immediately following that we jumped onto a due diligence very thorough due diligence on the project so we were literally within 48 hours of signing a, a CA with them on site with experts on the project okay. we've already completed the due diligence so we've signed off on it effectively we have signed that uh, basically a binding agreement with them with the $200,000 deposit which was paid last Thursday okay. and we expect to close the deal before the end of this month so it's we are really excited because really kind of now shifts the focus from exclusively Canada you, you know which some investors like some investors don't like so much to Canada and Nevada and Nevada it's really you know the prime mining district you want to be in you know in the United States so uh, and we do have a really good portfolio of projects there that we are planning to advance so keep an eye on Canark I think you know we've shown the investors that we are committed to turn around the company it's been three years right now since I joined the CEO and the uh, Canark it's a completely transformed company today you know we are still sitting on more than 10 million dollar cash even after this transaction completes we'll still be sitting on about 8 million cash and yet we've added so many projects good projects in the portfolio okay yeah that was a good overview and you just mentioned the cash position so what are the plans for the cash yeah you have yeah. to put it to work so are you going to to put it into these new 12 projects are you still looking for other opportunities to consolidate um, and also um, Yeah, all, the, all these uh, 12 projects are purely gold or... S yes, okay. gold and silver. But it's about 90% gold and there's some silver in, the, in those projects. Okay, and it's um, tell us a little bit about the grades that you already have sure. there. And um, yeah, what are you going to drill the hell out of the projects? Yeah, so give us some, yeah, some idea what you're going to do with the rest of the money. Sure. So let me give you a quick idea. Um, as soon as we close this transaction, we'll be commissioning a 43-101 report on the big project in Nevada. Currently, the historical resource on the project is 400,000 ounces of measured indicated resource, about 6.5 grams per ton gold, and about 600,000 in infer. So, we want to reconfirm those resources in the 43101 report. From there, we're going to come up with a very clear, detailed plan on the project and we are expecting to invest money in that project to move it forward so we'll be planning to do more drilling and probably we'll be planning to do permitting and why not so uh, you know we should have a plan very clear plan uh, that will be announced hopefully within, within the next month or so right as soon as the transaction completes now 
the question is really good you know what are we going to do now with the eight million bucks so the plan is that we keep looking for projects you know we we are not done yet right we've been able to buy this thing at a very low price but you're not limited to the united states so no we are to still other looking to other things i was in mexico as a matter of fact about three weeks ago for a week we are still looking at projects there uh, so the search has not stopped you know it's just that we really found this really fantastic opportunity that we we got it but we're still looking right and then the other thing to keep in mind you know we're not just buying and holding those assets right we are not a mineral bank like other companies are right we really actually is, are committed to advance them forward but you had right? some good success in yeah. being kind of a mineral bank for yeah. some of the projects absolutely and yeah for a way higher price to other correct companies. correct right but we're doing a little bit of both right we are buying projects so we have a good portfolio but we're also spending money on them to make them bigger and better basically mm -hmm. right and that's how we made you know 10 million dollars with selling the project in mexico because we got it for 1 million we've invested another million into it and suddenly we had a really good project that's what's worth 10 million right and we we cashed on that but uh, so expect us to see you know uh, create even more value out of the current acquisition and expect us to see you know uh, possibly buying more things in the near future I actually welcome this slumping gold price because it allows us not only to do this deal right now, but hopefully do a few more. And you know, the, the good thing about Canard is that, and, and sometimes I have to admit, I was a little bit, especially like two, three years ago yeah, when we yeah. talked first, I was a little bit, skeptical. Uh, not skeptical, but confused, yeah, 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 by, okay, you did your diligence there, it didn't come together, yeah. the next deal, and now I think that you have a strategy in yeah, place, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and always keep in mind, yeah, um, as Carolyn said, yeah, they could be part of their business can be being a mineral bank like identifying undervalued projects buy them development develop them to a certain stage with the funding they have in place and then sell them for a high return for the company but also the shareholders but but also keep in mind yeah with with the team you have yeah you can bring the projects into production yes yeah, so some companies can't do that but you have bread on on your yeah so so you can yeah with the same team bring them also into production okay final words are yours so I think final words is uh, to investors, you know, I think Canark is a name that you should look into, you know, uh, if you compare our valuation today uh, with any other company in the sector, I think you'll have it as a compelling company. So encourage you to do your homework and uh, maybe edit your portfolio if you think it's a good idea.